My work, you can't really see it. There isn't a nice graphical user interface. My work is in the back office system or in the data center. The user only notices it when something goes wrong. Computer science has always dreamt of building systems using individual components that are easy to understand. And just as you can put building blocks on top of one another, you should also be able to develop distributed systems just as easily. The question is, what's in these blocks? Exactly what do they look like? Hans Arno Jakobsen is a specialist in computer informatics, and these are the kinds of questions he wants to examine at the Faculty of Informatics at Technische Universität München, TUM. Distributed systems are combinations of different computers, a young technology which is expected to produce great things. His students are intrigued. Jakobsen has long been enthusiastic about the dynamics of information science and taught the subject in Canada for more than 10 years. He has registered many patents and been significantly involved in industrial developments. Many of my uh, graduate uh, students, many of my doctoral students have moved on to um, professorships themselves um, internationally as well as to um, major IT companies um, in North America and um, in Europe and I think I have a huge network. Now there are new challenges awaiting Jakobsen and his colleagues. Modern computer-assisted application systems are getting ever more complex and expensive. Examples can be found in the energy supply, transport, telecommunications and finance sectors. Jakobsen wants to change all that. One of the central topics currently being examined by business informatics specialists across the globe is the processing of events. Events are everywhere, from credit card transactions that stream by to, um, to traffic that passes by and then um, all of a sudden there's an accident and if, as you look at uh, the individual events that make up a stream of, of cars, you notice that there's a spike or you notice that uh, there's something unusual in that uh, stream. And it's these sort of state transitions, these occurrences, these asynchronous happenings that I'm interested in. Thanks to Jakobsen's work, software errors can be analyzed and isolated immediately and predictions can be made about the impact on other computer and software systems. This is of crucial importance for many developments in the IT and computer sector. Even computer centers like the Leibniz Computer Center LRZ in Munich are interested in his research because his informatics can enhance computer performance. Ideal if you can get this added value without having to invest in additional hardware. So very often um, an enterprise that has racks up and racks running their application, their core logic, they don't want to add another set of machines in order to do the performance management, do the root cause analysis. So they would give us a budget of a few percent uh, that they allow us to use of their machine for this additional application. Another debate that is heating up in the IT sector and in computing centers is the issue of energy consumption. Green IT is the slogan. Part of the work I do is uh, a new direction that uh, I refer to as green middleware. And part of green middleware is understanding how much energy is used by a computer system and a software system that runs on the computer system. Then ultimately once we understand that and once we can visualize and extract and monitor that, we then want to use middleware, green middleware, in order to guide applications to use more or less energy depending on price of energy, depending on the state of the computer system, depending on other applications. Energy is also the focus of another research field. Efficient, cost-saving energy supply is one of the big themes of the future. Electronic energy, smart grids, intelligent electricity networks are the relevant buzzwords. Jakobsen wants to design a reliable, intelligent information system. The important questions here are um, the design of this information system, but also more um, technical questions such as the uh, trade-off between efficiency and resilience um, in order to avoid, minimize disturbances. And a second important question here is, especially with respect to individuals' privacy, 
is how to determine the aggregate behavior without um, infringing on the individual's um, information. For this purpose, Jakobsen will develop sophisticated methods at the Faculty of Informatics, which will also benefit TUM itself. The eminent researcher will take up his Alexander von Humboldt professorship in 2012, inputting the knowledge he has gained and continuing to develop his network. Mr. Jakobsen is an example of an international research luminary who has an outstanding record in fundamental research, but has also managed to apply these insights successfully to practical functioning systems. During his professorship, Jakobsen will focus on practical applications. But these are not the only existing research fields that interest him. I think in computer science, it is more important uh, than in other disciplines to realize sort of this dichotomy between the relevant and the interesting problem. We as scientists, we also have um, the obligation to look at these interesting problems, to solve problems just for the sake of solving them and for the sake of studying them and building interesting and beautiful solutions. And um, so I do look at both. And very often you find problems that are interesting and relevant, and so those are, of course, the best problems.